How you doing everybody? Kyler Specs here and welcome back to another quick tips and trick video. This is the earliest SP farm that you guys can do extremely easy. Now there are ways to get it later on in the game and it's not really necessary but if you are a complete completionist or you just like to over level like I do, this is an excellent way to do it. Now um, if you look for my party SP, I'm at 581 already, so I've been doing this for a while. But I uh, reloaded, and uh, so I can actually show you how to do it. Now what you want to do is get into an ambush. The ambush is going to give you the green SP tiles. So you want to get two enemies really, really close to you, and you want to avoid getting... Ooh, like, see how they're really close? You want to avoid trust killing multiple enemies at once because that will give you a yellow tile on your bonus board which is more full so you want to make sure they're, they stay separated and then the ambush will happen and you'll see on the right oop, ambush and a green tile popped up And that's basically it. So you're just gonna farm that until you completely fill up the board. And so now every battle, I get four SP points at the end of every battle automatically. As well as level up your characters. So this spot right here, especially low level, it's one of the first and easiest way to get an ambush. There is also one up here by the uh, green uh, heal sphere. Ooh, had a sneeze. So these two enemies, you can kind of work them into getting one, but it's a little harder and it's not as easy since you have to run all the way there. Whereas for this one, there's a save point right here. And all you have to do is just go in here, walk back out, and then they'll respawn. So now you just want to wait until... The, again, they're really close to you. One will start tracking you. And eh, that one might be a little too far, but uh, we'll see. It should still work. Ooh. Again, the music's still playing, so we're good. So an ambush pop up, and if you notice on the right, we go from four to five. Now, uh, you just have to be careful if... Um, you get a critical hit landed on you, it could break your board. Um, it's far more likely if they are in rush mode, if the enemies are in rush mode and they hit you, uh, it good, there's a good probability that it's going to break your board. And um, But they can do it regular as well, so now we get 5 SP for a battle. And that's pretty much it. You just kind of grind it out, you go back and forth until you get, I think it's 14 slots. And it's a good way to build up all of your SP and easily max out all of their skills. Now, um, I'm going to do this for a while and then I will bring you back. Uh, just keep in mind that the maximum amount of SP you're allowed to have, I think, is like... Uh, it's 9,999 or 99,000. 999. I think it's 9,000. Um, I will check up on that and I will uh, let you guys know. But either way, it's you're not going to run out of SP if you do this for a while. And there are other locations later on in the game where you can do this and I will show you guys then. Now, uh, I'm going to keep grinding this out and uh, we'll see how high I can get. And I'll be back with you in a second. Alright guys, we're back. Um, if you notice, uh, my SP is not that much higher. I'm maybe, what, like a 100, 120 points higher. And I just filled out my board. So you, just by filling out the board, you get a lot. And especially once it's full, it's 14 SP points per battle at that point. 
So I just wanted to bring you guys in and show you it full just in case I lose it, then I have to start over. But um, yeah, like I get only gained like a level each. So, ooh, okay, so again, now, ooh, they're actually perfectly set up for an ambush right there. So once they get separated, and also, uh, once your board's full, you don't have to worry about uh, accidentally getting another uh, board. So you can kind of just go ham on them and finish them as quickly as possible. And I think it's um, a critical hit. Killing an enemy with a critical hit gives you a blue uh, tile, which is experience. The yellow is full. The pink is HP MP recovery at the end of the battle. And it's by a percentage, with, so it can go up to 14%. And then uh, green, uh, the HP MP is um, killing an enemy with a skill art only. So uh, the enemy that you're attacking, you're only damaging it with a skill art and you have to completely kill it. Um, I'm pretty sure other people can't have damaged it as well. If they do, then it nullifies it and then you don't get it. So, um, especially now, with um, our skills, we can max out our skills, we can easily one-shot these enemies with just uh, a single uh, skill art, and that will give you the H HP MP up. And again, full is two enemies at once, and experience is critical. So yeah. Uh, that is it. Uh, skill boost. See, now we're at 711. And then uh, all you... Uh, see, I already uh, maxed out the field skills for them all. So I, I had a decent amount. And then now all I have to do is use that and I can max out... Oop, that's the individual. Oop, there we go. Uh, so Edge is fully maxed out, then hers. Uh, might as well use the party since it is replenishable. And then, there we go. So I believe, not uh, this one. There we go. Uh, they are all maxed out now. So now everything I get is just party SP. And I, you can use it for any other uh, party member. So as you get more and more uh, people, if you have a decent stockpile, you can automatically up their levels a lot quicker than uh, trying to level them up and use the individual SP. Now, a word of caution. Um, this really only works towards the beginning of the game. If you notice when he sees me, see how he ran at me? He kind of chitters and then uh, he runs at you. If you are at a substantially higher level than the enemies, they will not chase you. They won't like aggro on you. So uh, once you kind of come back to this spot, if you are uh, really strong compared to them, they won't actually aggro on you and it'll, it'll make the... Um, ambush a lot harder to get so that's why uh, at least for this spot if you do want to utilize this in, on this planet it is best to do it while you're still in the beginning stages so your level is uh, kind of comparable to theirs because otherwise you're gonna have to wait for them to be right next to each other because they won't uh, chase me like that guy is but that is it. Uh, thank you all for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys next time.